What's up, rock stars? Mr. Wambassi here with another VG tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over the tailoring skill. Now, the tailoring skill is a skill that allows the player to create outfits and light armors, including the royal padded armors, the novelist leather armors, the regular leather armors, the heavy leather armors, rags, monk's outfit, simple male clothes, decorative male clothes, etc. Now, depending on which item you're trying to tailor will depend on the level that you need your tailoring skill to be. Now, of course, in order to use your tailoring skill, you will have to have your tailoring skill unlocked. So let's go over what it can do real quick. At level zero, you can make basic cloth and leather objects, including boots, helmets, and gloves. At level 30, you can make basic leather armor and padded armor. At level 60, advanced leather armors, silk weaving and silk clothes with a bonus to some silks. At level 90, you can make exceptional armor and cloth, resulting in a plus 20% in quality. And at level 100, royal armors and decorative dresses are unlocked. All right, so having gone over the skill set a little bit, let's go into tailoring an object. In order to tailor an object, you will need the Weaver's Toolkit. This is a toolkit specifically designed for tailoring. With a Weaver's Toolkit in your inventory, right click on it and you'll have several options one under procreation you can weave your rope this is where you'll make rope under tailoring you'll have sew. click on that this will bring up a menu if you click on the drop down menu it'll list all the items that you can tailor again depending on the level of your tailoring skill will depend on what is populated in this list so let's see as an example i'm going to go ahead and click decorative male clothing here, it'll tell you the items you are needed to craft this. In this case, I need five silk cloth, six hanks of silk, three wool cloth, and three thick leather. If you have a different item you'd like to craft, you'll need different items. Just go ahead and collect those. In this case, I have my items already. My three leathers, my three wool cloth, my six hanks of silk, and my five silk cloth. From there, when you have all of your ingredients ready, just click craft. And boom, there you go. I have my decorative male clothes. Let's see what that looks like when I put it on. Oh yeah, yeah, look at those clothes. Cool, and that's all there is to tailoring. Okay, so let's go over a few topics on how you get to this point. First off, you're gonna need to know how to get the skill unlocked. Now, to get your tailoring skill unlocked, you have to unlock what I like to call the farming tier. You will need to get each one of your skills up to level 60 to unlock the next skill. So, under farming, you need to get this to level 60 in order to unlock animal lore. Animal lore to level 60 in order to unlock procuration. Procuration at the level 60 to unlock cooking and level 60 for cooking to unlock tailoring. So, some quick and easy tips in order to level up these skills. To get your farming skill up, you're going to need to first have a sickle equipped. You bring it up. You have to have a sickle equipped. All you have to do is right click on the ground, go to farming, gather wild plants, set that on default, just whack at the dirt. Boom, got another one, increase. So that's the simplest way to increase your farming. So once you increase that to 60, it's going to unlock animal lore. Now this is a tricky one. Now, as far as I know, there is only one way to get your animal lore up. And that is to build a chicken coop or a coop, put animals inside, namely chickens, and harvest their eggs and clean out the coop. Once you do that, your animal lore will go up. Now, there is a patch coming out tomorrow and that might change. But as far as I know, that is the only way to get your animal lore up. Under animal lore, it says can tame, catch small animals, goose and hare, can place them in a coop and clean the coop, barn or stable. Now catching them, as far as I know, does not give you any ability increase. 
There is some question on whether the patch tomorrow is going to allow you to get an increase in stats when you do catch them. But as for right now, that catching them does not increase your skill. So you catch the animals, namely the chickens, you put them in the coop. Now, once you have your coop, you can right click, go into manage your coop. See, I've got some animals here. Oh, I've got some chickens that died. When they've been in here long enough, you're going to have to feed them, put apples in there. You're going to have clean, harvest, and slaughter. When you click harvest, you will gather any eggs that are in the coop. Gathering these eggs will increase your animal lore. And I had nothing to harvest, so the game has to be on for a while. They've got to have enough chickens. they got to be laying eggs. It may take an hour or two, so be prepared for that. Another way is if they've been pooping a lot, you know that poop. You can clean the stables, clean it up, and you will get an increase in your animal lore. This is long and tedious. But as far as I know, it's the only way to increase it at the moment. Okay, so let's go over cooking now. The easiest way to get your cooking skill up is just to make some food. In order to cook food, you will need some sort of cooking pot. The simplest and easiest one to get is the primitive cooking pot. Now take your cooking pot to a campfire. To build a campfire, you'll need five branches. To get branches, just run up to any tree, right click on it, under forestry, snap a branch, and you'll get a branch, as long as the tree has branches to spare. After you've collected your five branches, find a nice spot on the ground, right click on it, go under forestry, and select create a campfire. There, you highlight campfire and select build. You'll find a nice place to put it on the ground and you'll construct it. Now, when you build it, it'll give you a construction site. In order to complete, you'll need five branches to put into it. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and do that because, as you can see, I have so many campfires, I don't want another one. But all you do is click build, put your five branches in there, click craft, and then you'll create one. Okay, once you have your campfire built, right click on it and add some fuel. Put some fuel inside of it. This can be any kind of wood or charcoal. I have discovered the wonders of charcoal. It's very easy to make and lasts a lot longer and is a lot lighter. So if you need to figure out how to build some charcoal, go ahead and check out my other tutorial on how to build charcoal. Okay, let's get back to it. Light up your campfire. With it lit, right click on your campfire and you'll see a menu called cooking. Highlight that, go over to cook, click. Here, it'll show you all the different recipes you can cook. Now, your recipes will depend on how high your cooking skill is. So, find one that you're able to make and make it. Now, if you've been following the skill path, you probably have a barn with some chickens in it. So, you should probably have plenty of eggs. Making an item with eggs will boost your skill up significantly. Try doing the boiled eggs. It's pretty simple to do and should boost your skill up considerably. Okay, so that was just a quick overview on how you can get your skills up so that you can unlock tailoring. Now, let's go into the tool you'll need in order to do tailoring, the Weaver's Toolkit, and how to build that. So, in order to do tailoring, you're going to need a Weaver's Toolkit. In order to craft a Weaver's Toolkit, you will need a forge and anvil. If you need to know how to make that, go ahead and check out my tutorial on how to build a forge and anvil. I'll put a link in the description. So, to make it, we need to start up our forge and anvil. Right click, smelt, manage smelting building. Go ahead and throw your fuel in if you don't already have it in there. Lighter on. From there, right click on your anvil. Under forging, forge metal tools. Under the pull down menu, you'll see the weaver's toolkit. Highlight that. Now, the items you'll need will be two handles and two common bars. So once you have those items, you're ready to craft. Now, remember, in order to craft items off your anvil, you will need a blacksmith's hammer. So make sure you have that equipped. From there, go ahead and craft. All right, there you go. We have one made. Now again, in order to make a weaver's toolkit, you are going to need a forge and anvil. You will also need a blacksmith's hammer equipped, and you'll also need your forging skill at a minimum level of 30. Now, let's quickly go over the items you'll need to build the Weaver's Toolkit. One, you need two handles. To get handles, all you need to do is right-click on your primitive knife 
Under Carpentry, click Craft. There will be a pull-down manual that says Handle. One handle will take one soft billet. To get a soft billet, just cut down any soft tree. Now, in order to get the common bars, you will need to mine some ore, smelt it here at the forge and anvil, and smelt it into bars. If you don't know how to do this, go ahead and check out my tutorial, Mining 101. There, it'll go over the procedures to making bars. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description. Oh, and one more thing about making the handles. In order to craft the handles, you will have to have your carpentry skill unlocked. All right, welcome back. Okay, so in order to make your hanks and your cloth, you're gonna need two different objects. Now, to build the hanks, you're gonna need a spinning wheel. Your spinning wheel is a carpentry object. If you right click on the ground, highlight carpentry and construct furniture, as you can see it's highlighted here, spinning wheel. To build that, you will need a saw of some kind, as well as your carpentry skill up to 60. As I stated before, with the spinning wheel, you can make a hank of linen, a hank of silk, aka silk thread, and a hank of wool. In order to build your hank of linen, you're going to need five flax fibers. In order to make your silk thread, aka hank of silk, you're going to need five silk filaments. And for the hank of wool, you'll need ten wolf packs. Now to craft the spinning wheel, you will need one wheel, four softwood boards, and thirty nails. The nails can be made at your forge and anvil, and it's very simple. You'll see the item listed under your anvil. To make your wheel, you'll need two hardwood boards, one unit of metal band, and 12 nails. Again, all these items can be made at your forge and anvil. If you need help creating these items, go ahead and check out my other tutorials on how to build these items. Now the loom is where you make your cloth. Right click on it, under procuration, use loom. As you can see, we have our linen cloth, our silk cloth, and our wool cloth. In order to make your linen cloth, you will need 25 units of hank of linen. To make silk cloth, you will need 25 units of hank of silk. And to make your wool, it'll be 25 units of hank of wool. Again, to make your loom, you will need 15 units of softwood board, 4 units of bone glue, and 3 units of metal band. As before, the metal bands can be built at your forge in anvil, and in bone glue is a multi-step process that comes from your campfires. If you need help gathering these items, check out my other tutorials. If you need help building a loom, again, check out my other tutorials. Also, to build your loom, you will need your construction skill up to a minimum level of 30. Oh, let me step back one moment. I forgot to mention, in order to use these devices, you're going to need your procuration skill up. At level 30, you get the ability to weave ropes linen and wool cloth. So that's where you'll be able to make the linen and wool cloth. However, in order to make silk items, you will need level 90. Okay, so let me show you an example of creating the hanks and then creating the cloths. Right click on your spinning wheel, go under procuration, spinning wheel. Let's do the hank of linen first. You're gonna need five units of flax fibers. I got my five units in my inventory as you can see. Go ahead and craft. Round and round she goes, where she stops, nobody knows. Boom, there you go. I got my hank of linen. Okay, so let's do a silk thread now, aka hank of silk. You need five units of silk filaments. Got my five, craft. Do, 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 do. Boom, there you go, a hank of silk. Last but not least, the hank of wool. This, you need 10 units of wolf pack. And I've got my 10 units of wolf pack, so let's craft. Splice your bets, splice your bets. Boom, and there you go. There is a hank of wool. Okay, so I'm gonna get a few more of those done and I'll show you how to use the loom next. All right, welcome back. Okay, so let's use the loom now. Right click on your loom, highlight procuration, use loom. Again, we have our linen cloth, our silk cloth, and our wool cloth. Let's do our linen cloth first. We need 25 units of hank of linen. And I got my 25 here. Craft. <laughs> Boom, there you go. One unit of linen cloth. Okay, next, silk cloth. 25 units of hank of silk needed. Craft. 
Boom! There you go. Got our silk cloth. And now for the wool cloth, we need 25 units of the hank of wool. We have that. Craft. Boom! And there we go. Our wool cloth. Okay, so these are what the items will look like when you've made them. And that's how you use the loom. Now, again, in order to make the hank of linen, you're going to need five flax fibers. The hank of silk, you're going to need five silk filaments. And the hank of wool, you're going to need ten wool pack. So, where do you get those? Okay, so let's go over how to get the flax fiber, the silk filaments, and the wolf pack next. Okay, welcome back, guys. All right, in order to make the hanks of silk, you need silk filaments. Now, to get these silk filaments, you need to craft them out of silk cocoons. You will need your procuration up to level 90, as stated before, and you'll get these silkworm cocoons from trees. Now, they come from a specific tree. That tree is a mulberry tree. They have a rather unique look to them. Usually, right after the base, they'll split off into three branches, like so. Now, currently, they are populated in the southern region of the map. As you can see, I'm located around here on the map. And they're in this area in great abundance. Okay, so once you've located your mulberry tree, right-click on it, under farming, gather silkworm cocoons. Okay, so let's bring up our inventory. And boom! As you can see, we have this little tiny silkworm cocoon. From here, right-click on it, under procuration, extract silk filaments. You need no special tool to do this. Just your procreation up to level 90. And there you go. Silk filaments. You need just one. Craft. There we go. Our cocoon is gone. And we are left with our silk filament. That's where you get your silk filaments. In order to make your hanks of silk. Alright. Finally, let's go over how to get hanks of linen. In order to create a hank of linen, you will need 5 flax fibers. Now, to get flax fibers, it's kind of a lengthy process. So let's go over it step by step. Now, in order to make flax fibers, you will need flax stem. These are what flax stems look like. Now, there are two ways of getting flax stems. One, you can gather wild plants from the farming menu, and there's a small chance that you'll grab it. The other is by planting flax seeds and growing the plants yourself. This is a farming skill, and you will need to have your farming skill up to level 90. For the best results with that, you need to plow the ground, sow the seeds, and wait for them to grow. Now, as you can imagine, growing plants from seeds could take a long time, depending on the settings of your server. Then again, getting flax stems from gathering wild plants is kind of like gathering flux. It's completely random and could take a long time as well. So you'll have to choose which method you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and show you both methods really quick. However, I won't be able to show you the flax plants growing because obviously, it'll take a long time to do that. Let me go ahead and show you the farming, gathering wild plants method. Okay, so first, pick a spot on the ground. Right click, and under farming, you'll see gather wild plants. Now, in order to do this, you will need a primitive sickle or higher. Make sure that's equipped. With your sickle equipped, gather wild plants. Oh, right, I got lucky. I got flax stem on my first try. Now, you could prepare 10 flax stems at a time. 10 flax stems will turn into 5 flax fibers. So you're going to want to do batches of 10 flax stems at a time to maximize your efficiency in creating your flax fibers. Whew! That was a good one that time. Look at this. I got me one flax stem and some flax seeds which is what I was trying to look for anyway. I want to show you now how you can plant the seeds. Again, as you can see, this is, a, this is a completely random process. You could get some flax stem. You could not. You just never know. And you could be whacking at the ground for like an hour and still not get the flax stem you're looking for. However, it could take several days of farming for your flax seeds to grow into flax plants. Okay, so that's the method of farming and gathering wild plants. 
Now let me show you how to plant the seeds and do the farming route. So the other route of getting your flax stems is you will need to plant some seeds. Now to get the best results, you're going to need to prep the ground by plowing it. You will need a shovel of some kind in order to do this. Right click on the ground, go under farming and plow. Boom, I got a little spot plowed. Now go ahead and right click on that and go back to farming and you'll see a different list of items. Under here you can see sow flax. Go ahead and let's sow it. Oh, I know it's real dark, but oh, look at the cute little plants. Now in time, these plants will grow and you'll be able to harvest flax stem from the plants. Okay, so the final step in getting your flax fibers, you will need to bring your flax stems to a tanning tub. <laughs> what? A tanning tub? Yep. We're going to have to boil our flax stems in order to turn them into flax fibers. This is a process similar to getting leather. Now in the tanning tub, you can boil 10 units of flax stems at a time. So it's best to go ahead and do the 10 and not less because the boiling process does take one hour in real time, which can be a pain in the butt. So to maximize our efficiency, you might as well go ahead and put 10 in. Now remember, all of these things that we're doing require the procuration skill. It's such a valuable skill in order to be doing tailoring, which shouldn't be a problem because it's kind of a prerequisite in order to get tailoring unlocked. But make sure you have that skill at a pretty high level or else you won't be able to do most of these things. Once you're ready, right click on your tanning tub, highlight procuration, use tanning tub. And there you go. We have the option to select 10 pieces of flax stem. If you look in my inventory, I did go ahead and collect 10 units of flax stem. So with this selected, push select down here, bubble, 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 and there you go. The process has started. If you right click on it and try to pick it up, it will let you know in your system menu how much time you have left. In this case, I still have 59 minutes because I just started. Now when your hour is up, you'll be able to right click on your tanning tub and remove the now boiled flax stem into flax fiber, which of course you will use in order to make your hank. Alright, and that's it guys. That pretty much covers all the different aspects of being able to use your tailoring skill. And I really hope this information helped you out. Like always, if these tutorials are helping you out, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Heck, if you got the time, watch an ad and click on one. Hey, and if you're interested in playing with us, we do have a dedicated server up the name of the server is Wambassi's Clans of Cirrus. Come join us and we'll have lots of fun. Can't get enough of us? Check out some of our Let's Play videos. They're absolutely stupid fun. It's hilarious. You'll enjoy. Also, check out our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Wambassi. Alright guys, until next tutorial, happy gaming and stay frosty.